A couple weeks ago, we traveled through the central region of Japan, also known as Kansai. It consists of three major cities, Osaka, Kyoto, and Nara. Within four days, we were able to capture everything. And this is my travel guide on how to explore the Kansai region. First things first, take a play from Tokyo. And make sure to be on time. Our flight is in like two minutes. And this guy fucking arrives. Yeah. Once you arrive at the Kansai airport, take a car and head to the city of Osaka. First hit up Namba, which is the biggest city in central Japan. Walk through some narrow streets and eat where all the locals are. Fill your belly with some takoyaki and it's time to head east. Hop on a car and take the highway to Nara. <laughs> so we just made it to the Moro Art Forest here in Nara. It's actually um, like a hidden play and we're just gonna check it out. Have fun. Fly a drone to get some epic perspective. We actually hauled them beforehand. They're actually pretty flexible with us uh, joining the place. Follow the leading lines and there you'll find a majestic tree. Start dancing in the middle. Take a little break and enjoy your surrounding. Now head north to Nara Park to see some deers. Get some deer biscuits and they would all come after you. <laughs> we made it to um, the Kimido. It's this floating temple thing inside of Nara Park. Hop on the train and explore the city of Kyoto with some locals. Now I'm just waiting for a friend who actually lives um, around here. Um, she's gonna take me around Kyoto and hopefully she'll help me find or shoot some places that I've never been to. Visit the oldest Zen temple in Kyoto. Go get some coffee and wait for an epic sunset. In the meantime, check out a street called Nirenzaka. Make sure you capture the pagoda with the sunset. <laughs> Go somewhere with zero tourists. After two hours on the car, we finally made it to a place called Kyotango. It's a unique cultural city and it's been on my bucket list for a pretty long time. Don't let the rain stop you. All right, time to head back to Osaka. See a different side of Osaka. This is one of the most iconic places here in Osaka. It's a place called Tenma and it's just an alley full of lamps. On your last day, enjoy the nightlife. Eat at a izakaya and talk about your epic trip. And finally, soak it all in. <laughs> 